Hello and welcome back to the channel Blepharospasm My Journey. Today I'm going to share a quick tip on instant stress relief. How to do it? It's called, I call it Om Breathing. And that's what I do every morning and every evening. So when the dystonia was starting, in the initial stages, I had this shallow breathing, irregular or bursts of breathing. Shallow is you only breathe till here. You, If you're consciously watching yourself, you will see that you don't fill your lungs or you don't go till the abdomen or anywhere beneath it. You are only breathing till here. <laughs> That's it or you forget breathing completely. I'm a kind of a very adventurous person and I only watch actions and thriller movies and that added to my bad breathing. Uh, so when I, I watched the movies uh, with my husband and he used to sit beside me, he paused the movie and he said, forget about dystonia. I want you to focus on breathing. He's a physical therapist and uh, so he's good at his profession and he had seen um, people, patients with difficulty uh, in breathing and lung related problems. So he told me, I just want you to focus on the breathing first. I want you to have a pattern in the breathing or down the line you will have many lung related issues and that's when i started really really being very conscious and very careful about my breathing so when i started i just started with 20 minute breathing exercises like dr fedias mentioned just the one point breathing two point breathing and the three point breathing it takes a long time to go to the two-point breathing itself. Uh, so it took me about two or three months to go to the one-point breathing. And then later, slowly, I took some more time, probably two more months to go to the two-point breathing. And now I'm able to do the three-point breathing as well. The breathing technique that I'm going to show you today is Om breathing. This I figured out only two months back when I was uh, listening to uh, some gurus talk about the deep meditation and breathing and breathing, how it connects the mind and the body and brings both of them to a sink. So when I started that, I realized only if I had someone tell me this when my dystonia started. So I'm presenting it to you here. Even if you don't, still don't know how to do the one point breathing, you can start here, which I call the Om breathing. And you can slowly take it to the one point breathing and the two point breathing and the three point breathing. You can start here, which is the Om breathing. So how do we do that? You inhale on a count of one, two, three. And when you exhale, you go Om on say a count of seven or ten. It's up to you how much ever you can breathe out. So while breathing out, you start with O. At some point, you close your lips. The M sound should resonate. You don't have to put any effort into it, the m sound already resonates on your Agna Chakra and then uh, on around the nose and the vibrations spread across the face and the brain. Let's do it again. Take a deep breath, inhale. Oh.
that's how it goes it instantly gives that relief in the eyes in the brain around the face everything so what does this do here the breathing pattern is regulated the breathing pattern should be like not one inhale and two exhale no it should be inhale to exhale ratio the inhaling number count should be always less than the exhale count inhale like say on a count of three and exhale on a count of a bigger ratio five start with maybe five five seven or nine eleven it can go up next why is the om om the ma sound that is there is actually touching and resonating it's stimulating the agna chakra why agna chakra because we have especially if you are a blepharospasm patient i thought the agna chakra is where i have to uh, focus on because you might know there are seven chakras in the body and each chakra uh, should be energetic and active and stimulated for the organs around it to be functioning properly so i focused mainly on uh, my agna chakra while meditating as well as breathing um, because if my ch agna chakra is stimulated it is uh, automatically going and adjusting and vibrating and healing everything around the chakra so my brain nerves uh, my memory was very much improved is improved uh, my eyes have healed you get that instant stress relief which is the which is actually causing all the spasms and you quickly get a meditative feeling and calmness when do you want to do it you want to do it as often as possible and at the same time when you're doing it slowly keep a conscious uh, watch on how you are approaching the 1.2 point and the 3 point breathing techniques in in your uh, over the months to come so when you are doing it i mean when to do it coming to that point again uh, when you are very stressful and you have a lot of spasms in the eyes and your eyes won't open at all and you have severe headaches and you have facial spasms your face won't crunch at all sit at one place and start inhale if you can't inhale till the stomach or uh, in the in the beginning just inhale as much as you can even if it is still here ideally till inhaling till stomach is a good place to begin with but if you if you're just beginning with the breathing just inhale as much as you can exhale with om feel wonderful try it and let me know 
your experiences. Thank you. All the best to you.